Good day. This is Teacher Abby. Welcome to our first episode in Mathematics in the Modern World. Our first episode is about patterns and number everywhere. In our everyday journey of life, we are surrounded with numbers, measurement, and other mathematical forms. Patterns and numbers are everywhere. Patterns can be seen in animals, fishes, snowflakes, and many more. Example of patterns in animals is zebra and horse. There is a resemblance between the two. Obviously, we see the stripes of the zebra. That's why we see the difference between the zebra and the horse. Furthermore, let's have another animal, zebra and the giraffe. These two have different skin. In fact, zebra have stripes while giraffe have spots. In addition to that, they have different styles. Patterns on snowflakes have different forms, but you know, there is no snow in the Philippines. Teachers of mathematics, we're going to recognize the background pattern. There are different patterns in everywhere, even in the sky. Applying mathematics in organizing and systematize ideas in pattern. Example of it is the schedule of our activities or meeting or events. Setting of time of a certain activity can also be in the pattern. Understand the nature's secret regularities. Patterns in animals and fishes might be not that familiar to you but you know there are some secrets that you will unpin in this studying of mathematics in the modern world patterns are visible regularities of forms recurring in different contexts forms or design regularities of forms may be in a number or a letters example we can't identify if it is even or odd. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 example of even and 1, 3, 5, 7 is an example of odd. We, we don't know this one if we don't know mathematics. Designs can be seen in our houses or in a building or even in our household chores. Examples are layout of the floor tiles. Floor tiles have different Patterns Common patterns in tiles are colors. Sometimes you like black, white, black, white, or black, black, white, white, black, black, white, white. Design of buildings. Example of it are the churches. There are different design on churches. Even in a Muslim, the mosque. There are mo some famous churches and mosques all around the world we can see it in the different places like bangladesh israel italy rome the way we tie our shoes somehow we started our tying of shoes from the bottom to the top sometimes we have from the top going to the bottom and sometimes we do some an artistic design in tying our shoes. And in fact, it's very attractive in somehow. But for me, I don't like tying shoes. It's just like a waste of time. Patterns can be seen in snowflakes or fishes or animals and even in the sky and many more. Patterns can also be seen in heavenly bodies, specifically the patterns of the star constellation like Venus, Sagittarius, Pisces, Libra, and etc. 
patterns in weather season cycle each year, like winter, spring, summer, and fall. I really love summer because I love to swim and visit different places in the Philippines, the wonders of the Philippines. Patterns on snowflakes have sixfold symmetry, not exactly the same. Here are some patterns of snowflakes. If you're going to notice, they are not similar. They have different patterns, six patterns in snowflakes. The only common with them is they have sixfold symmetry. Patterns in fishes. We have spotted perch, blue spotted stingray, spotted buffalo, spotted moraine eel, a grouper, yellow box fish. Patterns in fishes not only on spots, they also have stripes. For example, in Red lion fish, angel fish, five striped rat. Now, there is also stripes in animals. The zebra, the tigers, the cats, and snakes. Furthermore, animals have spots also. We have giraffe. Leopard. Hena. But did you know, guys, that we can calculate the stripes and spots of an animal? In fact, there is a mathematician who stated that we can compute the spots and the stripes. These animals are tigers and hena. According to Turing, we can calculate the spots and stripes of an animal during the embryotic period. In the embryotic period, the spots and stripes is being formed. And according to him, there is two chemical interactive in embryotic period or in embryo of an animal. He don't know what is this all about or what is the name of this. That's why he named it as morphogen. Now, let's have different situational patterns. Number one, which of the figures can be used to continue the series given below? As you can see, we have four figures. One, two, three, four. To start with the analysis of the figures, Let's start with figure 1. Figure 1 shows that the line is a long vertical line or facing north. Figure 2, you will show that the movement of the line goes diagonal, goes north of west. Meaning, we start from north going to north of west. Now, let's go to figure 3. Line in figure 3 face West. It starts from north of west, going to west. Figure 4. As you can see in figure 4, it also moves counterclockwise. So from west, it moves to south of west. So if our line is moving counterclockwise, then the second or the next figure would be south. So from the choices A, B, C, D, which one is the correct answer? The answer is letter C. Very good! Situation 2. Which of the figures can be used to continue the series? To notice, we have four columns. Column 1 have one dot. Column 2 have two dots. The second dot is nearer to the first dot. In third column, the third dot is closer to the second dot. Therefore, what would be the fourth column or the answer? A, B, C, or D? Our answer is 
Letter D. Substitution 3. Which of the figures you think best fit the series below? We've seen in the figure that we have five columns. The first column have two dots. Second column have four dots. Third column have six dots. Fourth column have eight dots. So, the fifth column would be ten dots. However, if we check the dots on the choices, all of it have ten dots. At this point, we have to check the movements of dots. Start with the first column. On the second column, the two dots distributed in the upper and lower portion. On the third column, the two dots are distributed at the lower portion. Third column, the two dots is located at the lower portion. Or, what would be the fifth column? Is it A, B, C, or D? Answer is letter B. Number four, which of the figures can be used to continue the series given below? You can see we have three figures. Each figure have two arrows. Start checking the first arrow without a circle. Figure one, the arrow is facing east. Figure two. The arrow is facing south. And figure 3, the arrow is facing south. In this case, we assume that the next figure would be facing west or east. If you check the choices, only B and D would be stay for our choices. We can now eliminate A and C because it is facing north. If we're going to check figure 2 and figure 3, you will find it out that they are the mirror of each other. In this case, we assume that figure 1 would be the mirror of figure 4. So what would be the answer? Is it B or D? The answer is letter B. Number 5. Which of the figure can be used to continue the series given below? We have three figures in this problem. First figure, we have trapezoid. The second figure have a mirror of a trapezoid. Third figure is a triangle. Then, what would be the fourth figure? Okay, it should be triangle with mirror so what's the answer is it a b c or d the answer is letter d number six which number should come next in the series 10 17 26 37 let's count 10 to 17 10 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have 8 counts. Now, let's have 17 to 26. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, we have 10 counts. Let's have 26 to 37. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So we have 12 counts. Therefore, we have 8, 10, 12. So our next number will be fall into number 14. Or at 14 counts. So, what is our answer? Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct answer is letter C. Symmetry indicates that you can draw an imaginary line across an object and resolve parts or mirror image of each other. 
the chest knife with your hand, your right hand, and your left hand. That is, the right hand is the mirror of your left hand, and vice versa. An example of a good symmetry is the butterfly. The butterfly has bilateral symmetries. And we also have the Vinci Ventruvian man and the starfish. Starfish have five number of sides or faces. The order of rotation of starfish is 72. Note that if you rotate the starfish in 72 degrees, you can still achieve the same appearance as the original position. Angle of rotation. The small measure of angle that a figure can be rotated while still preserving the original position. Order of rotation. A figure has a rotational symmetry of order n if 1 over n of a complete turn leaves the figure unchanged. To compute for the angle of rotation, we use the formula angle of rotation is equal to 360 degrees over n. Let's have another example. We have here the snowflakes. Snowflakes have six folds. Now, we can get the angle of rotation by simply using the formula 360 over n. We substitute 6 to n. So, we have 360 divided by 6, we got 60 degrees. Honeycomb. Do you wonder why bees use hexagon in making honeycomb and not any other polygons? The reason is that more area will be covered using hexagon compared to other polygons. The following computation proves this. Suppose you have a circles of radius 1 cm, each of which will then have an area of pi cm squared. We are then going to fill a plane with these circles using square packing and hexagonal packing. Let's start with square packing. Each square will have an area of 4 cm squared. Note from the figure 6 that for each square, it can only fit one circle. The percentage of square area covered by the circle will be Area of the circles over area of square times 100 is equal to pi cm squared over 4 cm squared times 100 and the final answer is 78.54%. Therefore, the percentage of squares area covered by the circle is 78.54. Again, the percentage area of square is 78.54. Now, let's go to the hexagon. Hexagon packing. We can think of each hexagon as composed of six equilateral triangles which, with side equal to 2 cm. The area of each triangle is given by A is equal to the square root of 3 over 4 times side squared. By substitution, square root of 3 over 4 times 2, closing up in parentheses squared. Our answer is square root of 3 cm squared. That is the area of each triangle. In this manner, we are going to multiply it into 6. Because we have 6 triangles in hexagon. So, the total area of the hexagon is 6 square root of 3 cm squared. Now, let's get the percentage of hexagon's area covered by the circle. The formula that we use is area of the circles over the area of the hexagon times 100%. By substitution, we have 3 pi centimeter squared over 6 square root of 3 centimeter squared 
then times 100%. Our answer is 90.68%. So, the percentage of the hexagon's area covered by the circle is 90.69. As compared to the square, we have 78.54% only. Meaning, the hexagon is bigger than square. Oh, that's all for today. This is Angel Bert Morales, or Abe for short, saying goodbye. And thank you for watching our episode. Thank you for listening and thank you for your time. I hope to see you for the next episode of Mathematics in the Modern World. And remember, mathematics is everywhere. By the way, if you like my video, please put like and don't forget to subscribe and make a bell. Bye-bye!